my beautiful crafty friends. I am Katia with Lunar Sun Creations. Today we are going to be creating jewelry three different ways using um, acrylic paint. So I hope that you will stay tuned and check out what we're going to get up to. Okay, so we are going to start by just taking um, some paint and doing some stripes and then we're going to do a swipe. So I've got some uh, metallic decorate metallic ice blue. I've got some uh, decorate metallic peacock pearl mixed with another blue from a while back. I can't remember what that one is. We've got um, magenta. We have a, um, a leaf green combined with a metallics festive green and I've got some deco art glorious gold. These are all paints that I mixed up previously. They all have a little bit of Liquitex medium and PVA glue and water combined. Okay, um, I don't remember the ratios because like I said, they were mixed up a while ago, but they're fairly thin. Um, hopefully you can see as it's coming out the consistency. So I'm just going to do some lines. I'm, I don't really have a plan per se. <laughs> we're just kind of winging it and we're going to see what happens. Oh. That one might be a little bit too thin. Uh, we'll find out. We shall find out. Oh gosh. I thought I might be able to stay um, neat, but I don't think I will. And I just got my nails done and I don't want to mess them up because I think they look quite cool. Don't they look cool? I really like them. So I'm going to put some gloves on. Okay, I'm going to do the lines one more time and then I'm going to swipe it in black and see what happens. Okay, so my cell activator is just black paint and Australian Floetrol. So I'm just going to put some on the back of my uh, cake knife thingy <laughs> and then swipe through. Um, I feel like that might be a bit too much, but we're going to find out. lost the rest of the colors, but those cells right there are absolutely phenomenal. All right, so the next step is I've got these uh, cabochons, and I just have them on little, they're toothpicks, I guess they're like um, cocktail wiener sticks, so they have like a little handle that you can grab and pick up your cocktail wiener um, and at all the fancy parties that I go to. <laughs> <laughs> They're from the dollar store. I've wrapped foam tape around the end and then another piece of foam tape on top of that and then just stuck the cabochon on upside down so that the flat surface is is uh, showing. And we are just going to dip that into our paint. I'm going to let it like sit for a second and then pick it up very slowly. Okay, and there it is. Hopefully it looks like, hopefully the cells are on the other side. And then I've just got them all in this like foam, it's like a knee pad, you know, like you kneel on to keep your knees from being sore or whatever. So I'm just gonna stick it back onto that to dry. I think I'm gonna do these tiny little earrings in that as well. Hmm. With earrings, try and get this similar area so that they match. Okay, I'm going to let those dry. I'm going to show you all of these at the end. I would like to get some of the teal. Let's just go up here and see what happens if we get this one little weird dot. I think that one's going to be quite cool actually. It kind of has like stripes and the cells. 
Okay, this one, should we go for a lines? I'm gonna go for the cells. Okay, sorry, my head might have gotten in the way for that one. Okay, so here's what the back sides look like at the moment. Um, I'm gonna set them aside to dry. They'll take a couple days to dry, but as soon as they are dry, I will show you all of them. Okay, so the second way to create jewelry is to make beads out of your acrylic skins. So this was a skin that was literally just left over from a huge day of painting and it wasn't intended to be anything. It was literally just all the leftover paint, so it, it doesn't look awesome. However, when it's all rolled up into a bead, it looks pretty darn cool. So, um, did you know you could cut your acrylic paint skins with your paper trimmer? You can indeed. So <laughs> just all you have to do is uh, be sure to start the cut in the like the middle of the skin and then go up and then go down and that way it will make a clean cut without kind of crinkling up your skin. And now you can cut these by hand certainly Definitely nothing wrong with that, but it's much easier and more precise for sure with a trimmer. So I'm just cutting a whole bunch of strips um, at a half inch, but I'm not exactly sure how long these are. It was just a, just kind of how big the piece ended up being, and I'm just going to cut a whole bunch. I might do a few a little bit longer, a few shorter, or wider and thinner, I mean, just to make different sized beads. I'm just going to do this last one and then I'll show you. And then I've just got a knitting needle. You can use a uh, barbecue skewer, you can use like whatever it is you have that is round. I mean that's how big the hole of the bead will be so you can go with something smaller. And I'm just literally going to wrap it around. Try to keep everything centered as best you can and it will kind of stick to itself okay when you get to the end just put a tiny dollop of glue um, I've used many different glues and honestly they've kind of all worked I haven't really had any issues with any of them uh, today I've got the Tombow mono liquid glue as long as it's clear you're you're good so I'm just putting a tiny bit of glue, focus, tiny bit of glue just on the end there and then I'm just going to wrap it around. Any excess glue that seeps out I'm just going to kind of keep going around with my fingers like that. Okay, so I'm just going to do a whole bunch of uh, beads like that and I mean you can do them, uh, for instance, you can do them in like a kind of like a long triangle shape if you so desire and uh, start with the long end and wrap it around and that will create like a tapered bead. Um, that would look really cool if you had like if they're if your acrylic skin had different colors. I didn't quite stay in the center there but that's okay. All right, so yeah, let me take it off the thing here. I can show you better. So it's kind of like got like a tapered look to it. All right, I kind of prefer the um, just the cylinder look myself. Once I have a whole bunch, I'll be using this uh, Deco Art triple thick glaze on it. And once you put a few layers of that on, uh, it looks fantastic. It's nice and glossy. Um, you could also put resin over top of them if you want to go that route. That would work just as well. And they don't have to be as long, I mean they can be as short or as long as you want. It just depends on how thick you want your beads to be. It's, this is a very personal process, you know? You can make them as big, as small, as wide, as skinny, as what, however you want them to look. Okay, so this triple thick does have a little bit of a smell to it. 
Um, so make sure you have a window open. Um, and when you're when you're done using it, make sure you clean the ridges of the opening, like the the lid, or you you might not get it open again. It can get very sticky. So I've got a brush that I just uh, dedicate completely to this. I'll probably do about three coats, uh, waiting for it to dry in between, like uh, at least a at least a few hours. And once you get to a, a few coats, then it is beautifully and glossy and gorgeous, and and then you can uh, use just these in some beautiful necklaces or bracelets or whatever it is you have planned for them. And just if you have them all together like this, as they dry, make sure they're not touching each other or they will stick to each other. Okay, so kind of make sure that they're spread out as they dry. All right, so yeah, so you get the gist. All right. Okay, so once your um, piece is dry on the back, so this is one of the ones that we've dipped. Come on, focus, there we go. So once it's all dry, love the way it looks on this side. Hope it's, I hope the camera's catching how cool that looks. I'm just going to use a little bit of this uh, E6000 spray adhesive, but of course my spray doesn't actually work anymore, so I have to just use the nozzle like this. But I'm just going to take a little bit from the nozzle and put it onto my cab backing like that. And set the cabochon in there. And if anything, if you've put too much on, you can just use a baby wiper, paper towel, and I just use my fingernail. Run my fingernail with the baby wipe all the way along just to get any extra if there is any. And then I like to clamp mine. So I'll just clamp that like that and then wait until it dries. And then um, I'm just gonna quickly show you some of the pieces that came from the other dips. Okay, so these are the earrings to match that pendant that we just did. I'll try to take some close-up photos and also put those in because my camera that I'm filming with doesn't do close-up very well. So here's all the bar ones. I love the... I love how all of these turned out. <laughs> and then... So here's some more with the more of the blues and the purples. I love this key one. I can link that down below if anyone wants to find out where to get those. So those are all just gorgeous. I love this one because it's kind of got like some cells and one big cell. It's kind of like unique. And then, well, I guess they're all unique. They're all very one of a kind for sure. Can't replicate acrylic pores, that's for sure. And then here's just a couple more that have a little bit of the gold and the blue. So I love how all of them turned out. I'm very, very happy with them. And then with the beads that we made with the acrylic skins, here's just a very simple pair of earrings that I made with some of the, um, a couple of the beads that we did with the skins. So simple, but I think they're quite elegant. Here's all the rest of my beads so I can use those for something else. Just one little note about when you put the um, triple thick onto the beads is to try to dry them standing up on end uh, like flat onto the surface because I had a couple um, lying on the paper like that and they got like a, a flat bit there so they weren't entirely round so I didn't like that so make sure to have them standing upright okay and then just quickly the last way to do um, jewelry with acrylic paint and acrylic skins is once your skin is dry well or once your paint is dry and it's turned into a skin you can take your domed cabochons and just glue them down onto a piece of the acrylic skin. So this one's already dry and then you just uh, take scissors and go around and cut off all the excess and then you would plop that into 
the bezel opening in the same way. So I'll just show you, I've got, this is one of the skins um, that I did in the same session as all of that. It's pretty crazy, but I love this one part right here. And I think that would be perfect for one of the bars. So again, I'm just going to use some of the E6000, uh, put it directly onto the back side of my domed piece, and then put it where I want it. And I will just let that dry, and it will dry nice and clear. I shouldn't have moved that, but I want to put it somewhere else because I have other stuff to do here. <laughs> so just going to let that dry, and it will dry clear, and then I will just cut around it and do the same process. So I really hope that you enjoyed uh, watching me do this process and I hope you will give this a, a try. If you did enjoy this video, please give that uh, like button a little boop and uh, maybe the subscribe button while you're at it as well. I've uh, got quite a few videos coming up. Um, I've been really inspired with jewelry again lately. That's how I started my business and um, I've been really wanting to do more of it. So you're probably going to see a few uh, jewelry videos in, over the next uh, while. I'll still be doing the albums and the cards and all that, don't worry. But I'm just feeling the need to, you know, explore a little bit. <laughs> Broaden the horizons. Most of these pendants um, will be in my Etsy shop very, very soon. I'm going to be um, starting to sell jewelry in my Etsy shop, so I hope you will go and check that out. And as always, sending you huge hugs and lots of love, and I will see you again very soon. All right, take care. Bye.